Hey everyone, how you doing? Hope everybody's doing well. Just a quick intro to this video. Firstly, I apologise, I've been away for probably a month and a half, maybe even two months. In fact, let me actually check. When was my last upload? October. Yeah, so I've been away for over two months, so apologies for that. Just had really busy things going on in life and work, etc. So yeah, I wasn't able to do any content on this channel, so apologies. So this is just a quick intro to say thank you everyone for sticking around. I've had some comments in the last couple of weeks, even though I've not been doing a lot of content, I'm still, you know, slowly climbing up in terms of subscribers, so I really appreciate it. So I recorded my next reaction about eight weeks ago, which is the next Radiohead song, Exit Music for a Film. Uh, I did not plan in taking two months to upload it, so I'm just doing this quick intro to that video to say apologies, I've been away so long, but I'm going to actually do a lot of content over the next two or three weeks because I have no work until January 5th, I think. So, yeah, I'll show you Exit Music for a Film reaction, which was recorded, as I said, back late October, but then I'll go on to the next Radiohead song and I'm actually going to start reacting to, to some TV shows and movies as well, so that there's a lot of different content out there for people who like watching, you know, reaction videos and people's opinions on things, so thank you everyone, and yeah, I'll kick into the video of Exit Music for a Film. From your sleep, you're drying up your tears today. We escape, we escape. Give me one second just to pause it. It's a really, really beautiful intro. His voice and the guitar has like real depth and colour to it. I love the fact that you can hear the end of his notes on his voice and also you can hear every string on the guitar as well being strung. It's really, really lovely. It's a great intro. I love the way he's very, very close to the mic so you can hear every little nuance in his voice. It's so good. Pack and get dressed before your father hears us before all hell breaks loose. Again, a little quick, quick, quick pause. Uh, the addition of the choir backing vocals is really nice. Adds a little extra layer, and it just gives a, a little extra push because even though the guitar and the vocals together are really, really beautiful, 
the intro would feel a lot longer than two minutes in my opinion if they did not add the choir vocals in the background so it's a really lovely little touch but i love the chord the chord changes are really really nice uh, and lyrically you know tom's vocals are brilliant but lyrically you know it's about, it was written for romeo and juliet in the movie so we know the context of the lyrics no one has to go over them again we all know that so yeah let's keep going Sing as a song. A song to keep us warm There's such a chill Such a chill it just before the outro uh, comes in yeah what real real class vocals from tom when he really goes up his vocals are tremendous i personally think this is his, one of his best vocal performances on any radio hit song the fuzz on that bass when it comes in is of other level as well you can hear from this track where Muse had a lot of inspiration from, definitely, and the drums as well. Just everything, when it really, that crescendo coming in, you hear the harmonies in the background from the choir, vocals, Tom's really stretching his vocals, nice fuzzy bass, and the drums kicking. Unbelievable. Really, really great song, and it fits so well with its title. You know, excellent music for a film, it's very cinematic. So unbelievable let's continue and yeah listen to the outro Wow, Tom's vocals there really you have that slight grainy crisp on his vocals there and the noise in the background sounds like people or kids talking in the background but it's also like a almost like a wind effect in the background as well and the really nice really nice uh, and I love obviously starts with I think it's B minor if I'm right but it ends with a major chord which is really nice as well and it kicks in to let down so this is one of my favorite tracks on the album I can remember hearing it back you know in 1998 I think I first heard OK Computer and uh, this always stood out to me as being a little bit different from anything else on there first of all apart from right in the same part from Paranoid Android I don't think any other song starts with an acoustic guitar but it just had a different feel to it because it was written for Romeo and Juliet it was written for a movie I'm guessing that's why it had a slightly different feel to the other tracks on the album that's not to say that it doesn't fit well on the album it does 
it just has a slightly different feel to it in my opinion. But let me know in the comments what you think of exit music for a film. And if you are watching, appreciate it. But if you do want to see me react to anything different apart from Radiohead, I'm also every now and then reacting to trailers as well and the band Nightwish, which is a video coming. But if you want to see me react to anything else, let me know in the comments. Okay, so everyone, thank you. And we'll see you on the next track. Take it easy. See you later. Bye.